Now that you've set up your audiences, we can begin to pair them with automated campaigns. We'll start by looking at the journey campaign type and in later lessons, we'll explore other campaign types like email and SMS. To create a journey, navigate to campaigns, then click new campaign and select journey. You can design a journey from scratch or select a template to help you get started. All of the recommended journeys are included as templates. To use a template, just select it and auto will build the journey for you. You can then explore the template and customize it before switching it on. So we can better understand how journeys work, let's create an abandoned cart recovery journey from scratch. For the entry, we'll create a new filter and select the abandoned cart activity. We want people to enter our journey immediately when the cart is abandoned, so we'll select occurs. Our journey will remind people to complete their purchase, and when they do, we want to remove them from the journey. So for the exit criteria, we'll select placed order occurs. This means they'll be removed the moment they place an order. We want people to enter our journey anytime they abandon a cart. So under people can be in the journey, we'll select only once and enter multiple times. Under attribution, the journey will default the attribution goal to placed order. This means we'll see the exact amount of orders and revenue we recover from this journey. Click edit to start building the journey. The first thing we want to do is send an email. This will be our first reminder about the items they left in their cart. Select the email shape and then create new email. Give the email a name and subject line. You can use merge tags in your subject line to refer to specific attributes on an activity. In this example, we'll add the total amount of items abandoned in the cart to the subject line. For advanced users, you can A-B test this email based on opens, clicks and revenue. Once the test is complete, the winner will automatically be selected and sent to future people who enter the journey. Select a template and then proceed to the email builder. The email builder is incredibly flexible and allows your creativity to dictate the design. We'll use merge tags again to personalize our email. Next, we'll drag and drop the abandoned cart widget into the email. This widget automatically displays the items that were abandoned by the customer. In the widget setup, you can configure how items are displayed and the styles used. Now our email is complete, let's review it to make sure everything is how we expect. On the review step, you can check your links are working, preview the email on desktop and mobile devices, and send test emails. Publish the email and it's added to our journey. Next, add a delay shape and select one day. This will wait 24 hours before proceeding to the next shape. Now, let's add a condition to the journey. Conditions split the journey based on the person meeting a specific filter. In this case, we want to check the cart value. If the person has added more than $200 to their cart, we will offer them a 10% discount. If it's less than $200, we'll offer them free shipping to try and recover the cart. We can now duplicate our first email to save us time creating the new email. Click on the first email and select duplicate. Then click where you want to add the duplicate. We'll do this one more time. To add the coupon, edit the emails. On the design step, select the abandoned cart widget and click configure. We'll apply the coupon directly to the cart. Select add coupon and then create a new coupon. You can create and manage coupons from within auto. Give the coupon a name and add a code prefix. The unique coupon will be added to the end of this prefix. Add the percentage, in this case 10%, and add a minimum purchase amount of $200. This ensures they still have more than $200 in their cart at the time of checkout. Create the coupon and then go back and apply it to the abandoned cart widget. Combine the paths and then add another delay this time for three hours. After three hours, if they still haven't placed an order, we'll send a reminder about the discount. We'll use the split shape to test the effectiveness between an SMS versus the email reminder after three hours. The split shape allows us to direct people down different paths at a certain rate. Next, we'll add the SMS shape. Select create new and give the SMS a name. For advanced users, it's worth noting you can A-B test an SMS message as well. Simply select the test type and the sample size for the test. You can use merge tags in SMS to personalize the message. We'll again refer to how many items were left in the cart and add the abandoned cart resume link so they can complete their order. Once you're done, review the message and publish. If at any stage of editing your journey, you make a mistake, for example, accidentally deleting a section of the journey, 
you can browse the history of the journey on an interactive timeline. This timeline allows you to snap back and revert to previous versions of the journey. And if you're working late, you can even turn out the lights. Now you know how to create journeys, try pairing all of your audiences with journeys to either expand or contract them. You can start from scratch or from one of our templates. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to add widgets to your website to grow email and SMS subscribers, survey your customers, and create forms.